Hi everyone, my name is Adarsh Mishra and you are watching Youth Nation Quotas. Today we are going to solve one more problem on code chef and our problem is valid triangles and we have a problem code for this particular problem as flow 013 and then this particular problem code as well as the solution of this problem I am going to provide you in the description box below. So what this question is saying, write a program to check whether a triangle is valid or not when the three angles of the triangles are the inputs okay so we are getting three values as the input both of, uh, and all three of them will be the angles of a particular triangle so we know that if whether a triangle is valid or not we can find it using one condition what that condition is if all the angle sum or you can say the sum of all angles of particular triangle is 180 then that triangle is perfectly balanced perfectly normal and if it is not the case then it is not triangle so it is given a triangle is valid if the sum of all the three angles is, is equal to 180 degree and this is a common thing which we have studied earlier in class 6 or 7th the input is the first line contains an integer t the total number of test cases means the total number of queries which they are going to provide us then t lines follow each line contains three angles a b and c of a triangle separated by space so we are, we are getting three values as an input which are separated by space then what is the output pattern for each test case display yes if the triangle is valid otherwise you can display no and we have to do it into new line so this is a obvious thing for this particular test case, we can see that the number of test cases are three. Means we are going. To, uh, this question is going to provide us three test cases, or you can say three queries: 40, 40, and 100. So we can see 40 plus 40 plus 100. It's about 180. So you can say that this is a valid triangle because all the angle sum is, is equal to 180. For the second case, 45, 45, 90, we can see that 45, 45, 90, 90 plus 90, what oh, 180. So in the second case also the answer will be yes and for the third case 180 1 and 1 So this will result in 182 degree and this is not a perfectly balanced You can say triangle because if this is something else this can be another figure So you can see here that it is saying no for only third case and output is yes for about two cases So the code is very simple. So let me show you how to uh, code it in Python. So first of all, we know that we are going to get the value of test cases, which is integer value. So we are going to take integer value as input and will be stored into a variable test. Then we are going to create a while loop for getting input for every test case. Why test case is greater than zero? We are going to do some work and then we are going to reduce the value of test cases. What is this work? First of all, we are going to get three values as input. Three values or three angles, you can say A, comma B, comma C are the three angles. But how can we get those three values? So for the first thing, first time we have seen the 45, 45 and 90. This was the input. So we know that for this particular value, this is a string. So we can write here input. Because we know that in, input function uh, brings us a string value. It uh, just takes a string values as input. 45 is space 45 is space 90. So you can see the pattern is space and space. We can split this string using this is place, uh, space. So we will split it. Then this string will be converted like this. And uh, all the characters will be independent. Or you can say all the numbers will be independent but although these numbers are independent but the main problem is all these numbers are in string form so we have to convert these numbers from string form to integer so what we can do we can call map function for this purpose so i have said that map you have to convert all the values which are provided by split function or you can say this list and you have to convert it into integer so map has said okay and then i have said that you can store all the values in a b and c corresponding values in a b and c then what is the condition if a plus b plus c is equal to 180 for equality we for if we are going to check equality we use double equal to equal to is equal to the relational operator i have told you before then we have to print yes but the yes will be in uppercase else we have to print no this is a very simple task so what we have done here we have taken test cases input then why test is greater than zero 
we have taken one input and then we have split it using a space then we have called map and map will convert all these values all these string values inside a list into integer and then we will store it into a b and c corresponding values and then the first condition is if a, a plus b plus c is equal to 180 then print yes otherwise print no so this is a simple task let's run this code and see whether this code is going to provide us correct answer or not so this input value is given and the answer is yes yes and no and i have checked this uh, solution it is working fine so you can use this approach for this particular question valid triangles on code chef click on these videos right here and be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go thanks for watching and i'll see you next time